Greetings. Where's my microphone go? <laughs> Where is it? How are you doing there? Greetings and salutations. Happy holidays. Feliz Navidad. Doesn't that sound fake? Sounds like uh, how a, a TV news broadcaster talks. Greetings and... <laughs> I don't know about you, but those people are cringe-worthy to me. Maybe I'm cringe-worthy. I've had actually some people in live stream, and they said, you look dangerous. Maybe I do, you know. Of course, I don't have, you know, objective analysis other than what I see when I brush my teeth in the morning. I usually brush my teeth twice a day. Maybe I do look dangerous. Of course, I don't know about that. I don't know how many skulls are, skulls or like Harley Davidson tats. I got pink flowers and uh, fish tattooed on me. I don't really look that dangerous, do I? I, I hope I don't, but... You know, if I do, what am I going to do about it, right? Um, I'm sorry I hadn't made any videos for the past couple days. I would also, too, made a calculation that a lot of people for the holidays are, uh, you know, partying and hanging out with family. I guess that's what normal people do during the holidays. I did have an enormous amount of people ask me to do live streams every day, including Christmas at the same regular time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I just got done doing a live stream. I had a lot of fun, like uh, making people laugh. I think people are surprised that I act, uh, I want to say the word nutty in live stream. I just, you know, just try to cheer people up, people that are, you know, down and out or they're, you know, they're alone or whatever the case may be. There's a, a thousand different things. And it seems to cheer people up. A lot of people said that it did cheer them up. And uh, I, we had a great time laughing in live stream. Uh, I had a lot of people ask me, you know, what the, the predictions are for uh, next year. And I, one of the advantages, and there's many advantages, of course there's disadvantages of being so on social media, as you very well know, is that I get fed an enormous amount of information from countless different people, and I'm able to weed out the wackadoodleness. Yeah, I know that's not really a word about, uh, you know, just things are just palpably, just there's no way that's true, it's just, it's not, it's crazy. And just the information that's being fed to me, you're able to get a really good uh, sense of the zeitgeist and the fact that all these people are reading from the same script, and you know who I'm referring to. But I don't want <clears throat> to make anybody, you know, miserable or anything like that over the holidays. Um, life has to be lived. You know, there there is a middle ground. You know, you can drive fast. Not that that's recommended. And, you know, wear a seatbelt, you know, so you enjoy it. No, I'm not telling anybody to drive over the speed limit, obviously, but life has to be lived. I don't know if you know this or not. This is a secret. Don't tell anybody, but nobody's getting out of this life alive. But that doesn't mean that I'd ever say, and I don't tell anybody what to do. I never do. That doesn't mean that you're living life dangerously, but you remember that old saying from Kennedy, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself? Not that I was ever a big Kennedy fan, and no, I'm not that old. But life has to be lived. I just I see so many people just so blatantly obvious now. Sometimes you can tell, like this person is living in fear. Now it's just a lot more obvious for countless different reasons that it's just, wow, the type of fear that's going on is just off the hook. Um, the good news is that, uh, what is it, 42% fewer people are moving to California and everybody's getting out of California and Chicago and uh, the Northeast. Uh, the United States is actually experiencing a shift in demographics. I've asked an enormous amount of people and I'm always looking at land um, for other people. It's not like I could afford to buy, you know, valuable land. And uh, everybody's trying to get away from the cities. They're just following natural order. You cannot logically and reasonably tell me that, you know, you're going to tell people there's two weeks to flatten the curve and here, here going on. Two years later, you know, you're still trying to instill fear because it doesn't, it can't work. It, it will on a small percentage of people, but you can't, you can't ramp fear like that. It's, uh, it can't be done. It's kind of like what I hear from alcoholics. Um, they say that, uh, you know, it, when they first started out, to like take a few drinks, you know, to reach that level of, you know, where they're 
and I don't drink. I was drunk like four times or three times in college. But you know where they take, they start out drinking and maybe it takes four drinks and like a year later it takes like two bottles. And the same thing analogously is happening with this fear. You know, people, before where it only took a, a drink or two to get people, you know, to run around like chicken a little in fear, you know, it's, now it's taken two or three bottles. And it can't continue like this much longer. I mean, it just cannot. Um, Here's something else, and people say, well, one guy said this, and I forget the guy's name who said this, but this is on the White House's website, and it's just so absolutely disgusting. It's unbelievable. Um, you really have to be, I mean, it's just, I don't want to comment on that. I'll just let you read from this, and this is from the White House's website. As the guy was saying this, and so that is the talking point of... Uh, the White House, you could say de facto the United States government, you could argue that point. <clears throat> Here's a statement. For the unjuiced, and the word is not unjuiced, I'm just saying unjuiced to hide the un-v word. If you're unjuiced, you're looking at a winter of severe illness and death for yourself, your families, and the hospitals you may soon overwhelm. I mean, can you believe that? I mean, that's not fake. That's from the White House's own website. This is their talking point. And I don't care about politics. If you think I'm talking about politics, you're wrong. Let me translate that for you into normal. Oh, my God, you're going to die. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Doom and gloom. Oh. I don't know what level it takes for somebody to, uh, to get that to move them. And once again, I don't tell anybody what to do in life one way or the other. But that level of fear-mongering, I don't even, and I wasn't around for that, but I don't ever re recall any news reports of, like, even when the, the German tanks were rolling down the streets of Paris, I don't recall stuff this crazy. When the tanks were rolling into Poland, I don't recall stuff like this that was that crazy. I, I don't. There's something, and I look at, human beings, you know, quite, uh, quite sharply, and I don't care about psychology, that you see this, you can see the divide in people. There are these people that, that live their lives, and these are what, and we're creating this, uh, this polarized society, this uh, medical apartheid system, which is, there is no good outcome that can come from, and of course this is all uh, divide and conquer, and that's not a conspiracy, that's a fact. It's divide and conquer. You could see these people. You can see the people that are living in fear. It's just more blatantly obvious now. Just totally, they live their lives in fear. They are the ones that believe and they're being told and they fall for the fact that government is God. They have no faith, and I don't care what people believe in. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about true belief. You know, people that live by natural words, like, I'm going to live my life. You know, animals do this. You know, animals, even though they're not intelligent, you know, some of them are, obviously, so. You know, they can be eaten any minute. I mean, these animals have, uh, you know, venom and claws and teeth. But no one's getting out of this life alive, but I mean... I just see people so willing to destroy their lives and put their lives on hold and they're just the stuff that's being done to children as so far as well, I won't I won't get into that they just they live in fear they have no hope they have no faith they're full of fear and what this is fundamentally is materialism it's materialism the, these people, they make fun of the other people that are like walking around, you know, sucking in fresh air, like, <sighs> isn't it a nice day outside? You know, going on, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, they're throwing caution to the wind. But these people, these are the people that get uh, made fun of by the other people that are just, they're so miserable. They're living in fear. I've seen this myself many times over the past two years. Just some old lady was pushing her car and she wasn't wearing a face diaper. And this other older lady, not as old, I mean, started cussing her and screaming at her. Oh, man, I even caught part of that on video. The same thing is going on, however, it's not as, uh, you know, 
super confrontational. However, I do hear that it is still in California and uh, Chicago and other places in the Northeast, Seattle. These places have one thing in common. I'll let you guess what that is. There really has been all throughout society, including ancient Rome, on and on and on, all throughout history. And this is not politics at all. Where people, there are the people that uh, believe in collectivism, and they'll they'll follow anything the government tells them to do. And I don't care if they do or do that or do not do that. And the other people that like, I'll live my life, I'll pay my taxes, leave me the hell alone. You know, I'll, uh, I'm not throwing caution to the wind, but I'm gonna. You know, I'm going to live. You know, I take care of my, my wife, my kids, I work hard, and I'm not going to live my life uh, in fear. But for someone to say that they don't live their life in fear doesn't mean that they're throwing caution to the wind. That's the big mistake a lot of people are making, the people that live in fear. But there is a fundamental metaphysics behind it. The metaphysics of the people that live in fear, they, uh, you know, they're, they have no faith. They have no hope at all. They are materialists. Most of them. All of them, no, but they're materialists. The ones that are not materialists collectively are, are they're, I don't want to say weak-minded, but maybe I should say weak-minded. You know, this is a time for being with friends and family. Take whatever precautions you need. I never, ever, ever tell anybody what to do. I don't. It's none of my business. I'm sorry I've been so radically busy the past couple days, but also, too, I'd hope to take tomorrow and the day after tomorrow off. I've actually been working incredibly hard on the Retroduction booklet. First, it has to start as a booklet before it turns into a book. I've always worked that way because if the chore is too big, then it becomes overwhelming because I work uh, seven days a week. But I've been up to five and six in the morning for the past ten days straight, and uh, I feel extreme sleep deprivation. Uh, actually, I'll never ever make another Stingray wallet again. This is Stingray. It's basically like sewing through steel. All these little uh, crystalline things are on the back of a Stingray. They're like sewing through diamonds. Imagine an animal that has like rhinestones as its skin. Even though this is sanded flat, not by me, but by the, you know, it's like, wow. Just, <laughs> it's just, uh, it's something. And I've got uh, three more gator wallets to make, even though I'm out of gator. I have enough to make three more gator wallets. Um, but I also, too, wanted to say thanks to anybody and everybody that's been kind, um, been answering a lot of emails, and just doing what I, I normally do. Um, doing a lot of sewing, actually. I know that's not exciting for anybody. Without faith and without hope, and I don't mean faith necessarily about religion, because I have no interest in any religion at all. I mean, people just, they live their life in fear. I know somebody like this. Actually, I know more than a few people like this. Their, their lives are dominated by fear. They're complete materialists. You know, they want to, and it's good to cling on to life. There's an ancient passage from the Dhammapada and the Pali that says, All beings love life, all beings fear death. However, that's not true. I don't fear death at all, actually. But that doesn't mean that I live stupidly. You know, like I'm playing hopscotch out in the streets, you know, and I'm juggling sharp knives. But that's what unintelligent, brainwashed people think. It's like, well, this, this person is a, you know, a fool. No, you can both live your life and be cautious, you know. Life is balance. I mean, these people that want to, and what they do is none of my business. They want to wrap themselves in saran wrap and live in the basement. You know, it's just, it's shocking to me. There's been a new study out, I forget who did the study, that says children born within the past uh, two years or so, I forget the exact parameter, but basically since all of this, this uh, all of this stuff started, are radically less intelligent and they score lower on cognitive skills, so on and so forth. You know, these, these poor kids that don't know any better. We're, we're setting up a generation of, uh, of like blanket clutchers. You remember like Linus from the Peanuts where he goes around everywhere with his blanket, sucking his thumb. Um, there is nothing that good 
that comes from that. There's just not. You can't argue that there is. There's no two sides to that story. I, I didn't make this video to like, you know, you know, doom and gloom or nothing, but these people out there, you know exactly who these people are that keep trying to, you know, wreck everybody's lives. You know, there are things that wreck people's lives, like cancer, that, you know, I have to take care of my wife, cancer. There's, there's illnesses that people get. You know, life, you're not getting out of this life alive. But people that have put their entire lives on hold and wreck the lives and wreck the lives of their children, I mean, whatever they do is none of my business. But it's just, it's, to me, I, I will just lightly say, I'm looking for the right words, so I'm very apropos. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Being fat, I know a lot of you comment about me being fat. That's crazy, too, because I'm not healthy. I don't drink or smoke or do drugs, but obviously I'm fat. I'm out of shape. I'm not stupid. I realize that. I'm not setting myself up as any bastion of, uh, you know, physical purity. <laughs> I don't pretend to do that. Um, I do eat cleanly. Obviously, I eat uh, too much. I don't get enough exercise because I'm constantly... There's not a lot of exercise and sewing and hammering leather. There is some, but... Uh, I just want to keep continuing on being, you know, a straightforward uh, person and doing honest uh, gear reviews and talking about the things and translating and writing books and just leading a simple life. That's all I do is lead a simple life, believe it or not, even though it seems really complex at times. Um, I had a lot of fun in live stream making people laugh. I like being helpful. I like making people laugh. Um, Oddly enough, and to me it doesn't compute because I don't ever get to meet any of you people. I mean, except that it's a super, super rare occasion I get to see somebody. But in the past week, I ran into four people. I have no idea who they are. Four people or is it five? Four. They're like, oh, I watch your videos. You know, they start talking. Like, oh, really? You know, I'm just out at like Lowe's or uh, Home, you know, Home Depot or, you know, walking around and these people stopped me. It still never totally processes with me that, you know, the, the number of people that are watching the videos. And I, I just want to keep my life uh, simple. Yeah. Once again, I'm working hard on the retroduction booklets, and uh, um, I want to do a live stream like the next two, th next three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, including Christmas, since that was a lot of people's requests. Um, a lot of people ask me to make a prediction about the next year, and I'm 100% certain that it's going to be more crazy than it was this year. But we'll find out very soon, because I know it will ramp up really hard in uh, no later than uh, mid to late February. So we'll know, we'll know the f much of the extent of this. People that have a, a mind on their heads, on their shoulders, mind on their heads. I'm going to edit, edit that out later. We'll, we'll soon realize, very soon, within the next month and a half. If it wasn't abundantly clear to you before or now, it will be very abundantly clear. Very abundantly, extremely clear to you by mid-February. But, I mean, now's the time to, you know, do what I can't do. You know, go spend time with your wife and kids. Live life. You know, just, I see so many people living in fear. Just... It doesn't mean to be unsafe, but just the, the fear, the crazy fear that uh, people have going on, it's just, uh, I admit my failure because of what I've been through and taking care of my wife and all the stuff I've been through in life, that I've had way too much stress. And they say, stress is a killer. And uh, it probably is. I don't know what's worse on somebody long term, living in fear or living in stress. Probably stresses, so I'm way worse off than the people that I'm, you know, rolling my eyes at. Stress and being overweight, too, right? Go ahead and tell me the bleeding obvious as if I'm not intelligent enough to know the obvious, which of course I am. But, you know, I don't pretend to be somebody that I'm not, you know. I only care about facts, logic, and wisdom. I care wisdom above all else. I love being helpful. Um... I want to say thanks to anybody that's been kind this past year or any other year. And uh, I ask you, I humbly request of you, 
that if I could, uh, uh, I'm trying to recuperate myself because I'm so insanely sleep deprived to recuperate over the next couple of days and uh, keep things simple in my life. And uh, thank you so much. I have no affiliate links, and other than uh, leather goods, which take a, a pounding on my hands and whatnot, uh, I don't sell anything. So any donation is kindly welcome. Or you could send me an email and uh, tell me how much you don't like it sometimes. I don't like this. I hate it when you do this. And actually, I read that stuff, and I read every comment and every video, too. So I always wanted to be the opposite of everything that I don't like. Uh, oh, the one thing I want to do, and I really never get a chance to go see movies, is everybody's telling me to go see the new Matrix movie. And I really, I've heard people say it's really, really horrible, and I've had a few people tell me it's really, really great. And uh, But mostly people said it was horrible, but I'd love to find out for myself. Let's be honest, you know, it might be really bad, but who doesn't want to see the new Matrix movie? It could be really, really bad. Um, I'll find out. <laughs> I'll find out very soon. I never get a chance to see movies, really. Um, so busy all the time. I'm sorry if I rambled too much. Uh, yeah, it's one of the side effects of being sleep deprived. Uh, I just really wanted to say thanks, and I wish you all a happy holidays. Spend time with your loved ones. Be safe, but don't live your life in fear. Don't, you know. There's no animal on earth that I know of that, that does that. You know, life has to be lived. Um, even if like a, a giant asteroid were hurtling its way towards earth and we knew that the earth would be destroyed in say 30 days or something, not that, it's, not that it is, you know, there would be those people that'd be like running around like a, a chicken with its head off and there'd be other people just not going about their daily routines but living life. You know, doing what's important. Doing what's important is extremely important, especially in these holidays. You go out and see the people that you love before they're gone because they're not going to be around forever. And, you know, there's some people that I wished I got to say goodbye to or spend more time with that aren't here anymore. They're just whoosh, gone. They're gone, gone. It's like, you know, one guy was a buddy of mine. I was just so insanely busy. He wanted me to come over. He's like, come over here. I got something to tell you. And I was like, no, I'm just too busy. And uh, he asked me again. I used to work with him. And I found out not too long after that he was, he was dead. So I never knew what it was he wanted to tell me. I'll always wonder that for the rest of my life, and I'll never know. So take time for the people that care and matter, because money is nothing. Um, wisdom and friendship and love is important, not money. Because you know, you're not going to take it with you to the grave. Yeah. Says the guy that works seven days a week to try to pay the bills. <laughs> I'm not doing it for money. I'm just doing it to stay afloat. So, Anyway, I wish you all a happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Feliz Navidad. Thank you. Sorry if I rambled in this video. I humbly apologize. By the way, my contact email is in the description below. A lot of people ask me that, and it's always down there. And uh, check out the description below. Have a lovely holiday. Thank you.